My name is Ron Mariano. I'm the state representative from the third Norfolk district, representing parts of my hometown of Quincy, Weymouth, and Holbrook. I'm also currently the majority leader of the House of, Rest, House of Representatives in Massachusetts. I know I don't need to tell any of you how historic this year has been. The COVID-19 pandemic has upended life as we know it in so many ways. From the healthcare workers to small business owners, to working parents and students, and to all those who have lost their jobs. I know we have all been affected. The changes have been felt in the legislature as well. As we figured out how to meet in formal session remotely for the first time in the nearly 400 year history of the Massachusetts General Court. We did figure it out and adapt it. And we continue to conduct the people's business. One of the first things we did was pass legislation to prevent foreclosure and evictions during the pandemic. It was critical during these extremely uncertain times that we protected renters, homeowners, and small businesses. Late in the spring, I was appointed by the speaker to chair the House Special Committee on the Commonwealth's recovery. It was made up of a group of representatives, and we met in a discussion group to talk about making improvements in our healthcare system, in our sick leave benefits, in other workforce issues, as well as economic development and job retraining. The healthcare discussion led to legislation, which was passed by the House. One key lesson we quickly learned during the pandemic is the potential for telehealth to transform the way healthcare services are delivered. We look to make telehealth a permanent fixture in our health care landscape including a commitment to ensure that telehealth behavioral services are covered at the same rate as in-person behavioral health services. The House, Senate, and the administration continue to work together to address the fiscal year 2021 budget picture. Although current projections show a deficit of anywhere from $6 billion to $8 billion, we were able to demonstrate our continued commitment to cities and towns by committing to level funding for local aid in Chapter 70 school funding. The state is currently operating on a short-term budget through October, and we will be back in the fall to complete a full budget. But making this commitment to our districts was a key priority to provide them with stability and the opportunity to plan. My office has also had to adjust to remote working. And our constituent services have remained up and running through every week of the pandemic. We have assisted dozens of local residents who have experienced job loss with accessing their unemployment benefits or the pandemic unemployment assistance benefits. And we also have been able to help with housing issues, healthcare issues, and access to other state services. If there is anything that you need that we may be able to assist with, please call us at 617-722-2300. Leave a message with your contact information, and someone will get back to you. As we approached election season this year, it was critical to ensure that every voter be able to safely make their choice. The House, Senate, and Governor work together to pass a law that provides a number of choices for how to cast a vote. You may choose to use the early vote by mail system by returning the application mailed to all registered voters. Early voting periods in each city and town have been expanded for the, for the general election. And for those who choose to vote in person on election day, the process has been made safer and more efficient. I encourage all registered voters to choose the option best for you and make sure to cast your ballot this year. And I ask that when you do cast your vote, that you please consider me, Ron Mariano, for state representative. Thank you.